Allahu Akbar. The news of King Abdullah's death sent shockwaves through the region, even though it had been known he was quite ill. Dignitaries from around the world traveled to Riyadh to attend the funeral on Friday. The ceremony was a simple one, as the body was taken to the Imam Turk Mosque in Riyadh, where visitors prayed for the king. It was then moved to the cemetery to be buried by the king's family. The kingdom on Friday also endorsed the new king, Salman bin Abdelaziz, who said he would follow in the footsteps of his predecessor and half-brother, the late King Abdullah. We will, with God's will and power, adhere to the straight path this country followed since its establishment by King Abdulaziz and his sons after him, and will not deviate at all from it since our constitution is the Book of Allah and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. A former defense minister, a crown prince, and advisor to the late king, Salman has pledged to continue the policies of Abdullah at home and abroad. The new king faces several challenges in the Middle East region, and that includes a resurgence of extremism on the kingdom's borders, in Yemen to the south and from Al-Qaeda to the north. King Salman is aware of the dangers ahead. The Arab and Islamic nation is in need of unity and solidarity, and we will continue on our path to do what is possible for uniting our stance and defending our nation's cause. The king's first decisions, naming a new crown prince, a new deputy prime minister, and his son as minister of defense and head of the royal court. The kingdom seems to have succeeded in its first challenge, handing over the power to a new king. Now it remains to be seen whether the new monarch will succeed in the other challenges ahead. Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.